Hey everyone, I mentioned in the, my last video that I bought a bag of old film camera gear. Uh, so this video is just about a few of the things that are in it and what I'm excited to use and shoot with. So I'm going to start with the stuff that will fit the Pentax Spotmatic that I was using in the last video. I've actually shot another roll of film with a couple of these lenses, so for that camera one of the lenses was a Zeiss Jenna 13.5 centimeter lens. It's a f4. Um, I've seen some photos online taken of this lens, and they look pretty good. So I'm excited to see how this lens actually shapes up. Um, I have cleaned it up a little bit. It was all corroded on the outside. Um, the glass on the inside, however. If you'll be able to see, but the glass on the inside is actually pretty good. I also got this 200mm Pentax lens, f5.6. Uh, I can't remember if I shot with this the other day or not, but I think it should be a nice little lens to use. Also, there was a 300mm f6.3. Um, the glass is good on this one as well. I um, don't know if you can see anything through that or whatever, but also there was a 85 to 210. So this is one of the cameras that I'm excited to shoot with, uh, Minolta Hymatic 7 S2. Um, it's one of the real reasons why I bought this bag of gear. Um, there'll be some other things that I might sell, but I'm hanging on to this one. Um, the glass, the glass is good. It works. Um, the meter seems to work. It just needs some new light seals or the light. The light seals are gone in it, so I'll replace those and then I'll be taking it out to shoot as soon as possible. Another camera I'm looking forward to using is this Olympus OM10. It's really, really clean. Um, I put new batteries in it. And it works. The light seals are good, everything about it's good. I just gotta put a roll of film in it and take it out and shoot. Um, it has got a 28 millimeter f2.8 on it, but it also came with a Kiron 70 to 105 um, f4. So this is a nice looking lens, the glass is clean, um, I don't know how this lens performs, I've never heard of, a, of Kiron lenses before, um, but I'll try it out on the OM10 and show some photos, see how it goes. Also Canon FTB. Um, it's working, it just needs a clean. Um, new, it needs a clean, it needs new light seals. There's also a few things that I didn't know what they were for. Um, the main one being this Novoflex trigger, I don't really know. It's got a 105mm lens on it. And it also came with a 135 lens that seems to fit this as well. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'd like, I would like to know what these, we, what this was used for. I also got a few Leica items in it. Um, when I saw the photos of this, I didn't know what it was. It looked like a box. Um, from the photos, but it's a folding lens hood for a Summicron. Speaking of lens hoods, it also got a lens hood for a Elmar 5cm. Um, it's in reasonable condition. I wouldn't say it's in great condition, it's in reasonable condition. And this, also in photos, I didn't know what it was. A bit more research, it's a macro adapter. This one is for a Summicron 5cm. 
There was another lens that I saw that I, from the photos the guy sent through, I couldn't tell what it was for. I'm not sure, but I think it's an exact amount, and it's a Maya Gorlitz. I could be butchering the name of it. Um, 10.5 centimeter trio plane lens. In amongst all the Pentax gear, there was also this Pentax flash unit. Um, I have no idea how this actual flash unit works. I don't know if it takes batteries. It has a port for, it looks like DC power. Um, but it doesn't seem to have, it doesn't have any adjustment. And there was also a Nikon flash as well. Um, but the terminals in this little flash are corroded and it doesn't seem to work. I now have five lenses for the Pentax Spotmatic. Um, it's a whole kit basically. Um, it'd be cool to get a wide lens for that camera to, com to complete the kit. Um, not sure if I'm going to keep the whole lot or sell it, um, but I'm definitely going to use it a few times before I sell it, even if I do sell it. So basically, I'm going to clean this gear up and certain things I might sell on if I if I have no use for them, I'd rather sell them on to other people to get some use out of them. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more videos about some of this gear. I'll make videos on the cameras when I go out and shoot them. Um, let me know if you want the videos just to be like point of view street videos or if you'd like me to talk a bit more about the cameras. If you want to know a bit more about the cameras, um, I can see if I can do a review or whatever. Um, or I can just continue the point of view style shoot videos. Again, thanks for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos on this type of stuff. Um, and hit that like button, it really it helps. Until next time, we'll see you later. I really like some more information on this thing. Um, I've got no idea what you would use it for.